It's Will here. Hope everybody is having a fantastic start to their 2020, and I'm really happy to bring you day two of the 365 Days of Guitar series for this year. For today, I thought I would take a take a look at a uh, special request. I had my good buddy Nick Seventy from the Riff with Nick Seventy, great channel here on YouTube. He made a lesson request based on the intro for day one's video yesterday. I did some improvised country style guitar in the key of A major. And he said he wanted a lesson on it. So that's what we're working with. And um, so I decided to take the opening lick from that entirely improvised piece and break it down and try to hopefully impart some knowledge that people can take from it and that you can dig. And here we go. So again, we'll start um, in key of A major. I'm gonna play the lick for you slowly and then I'm going to discuss the chordal knowledge that um, would be happening underneath it if you had like a rhythm guitar player or something, just so you know what the chord qualities are and where it falls within the key. We'll break the lick down slowly and then uh, discuss how all the patterns flow together. So we'll play the lick slowly. So to discuss the, the chord qualities, basically um, the pattern has certain levels of repetition. So you would do the first two repetitions of the pattern over the one chord, the A major. And then the next two repetitions of the pattern would be over the four chord, which in this case I'm actually playing a D dominant seven, or you could play a D nine. Works very well uh, for two repetitions. And then back to the one chord again, the A, for a sort of embellished version of the first part of the pattern. And then we do a classic 2-5 turnaround, your B dominant 7, which is your 2 dominant, and then the it ends on the 5 dominant chord, E dominant 7. Or again, you could go E9. So we'll start um, breaking down the pattern piece by piece. So it's ostensibly a major pentatonic lick for the most part uh, until we get into the, sort of the 2-5 section. So we'll start here with the first part of the pattern that you would play over the one chord, the A. You're starting on the seventh fret of the A string, going to the ninth fret of the A string, going to the seventh fret of the D, to the ninth fret of the D, to the sixth fret of the G, and then walking back down 9th fret of the D, 7th fret of the D, to the 9th fret of the A. And then eventually you will go back to the 7th fret of the A, but that's sort of the loop of the pattern. So we'll just loop it slowly. faster just so you can hear it uh, with some continuity. So you would repeat that pattern twice in this version of the lick would be over your one chord. Now the second part of the pattern is very much uh, very nearly identical uh, but we are we're moving to the four chord so what we're going to do is instead of playing the sixth fret of the G string we're going to slide our first finger down and actually stretch it out and play the fifth fret of the G string, which played over that D, uh, D seventh chord, it gives us that seventh. If we were to play the, um, 
C sharp, the sixth fret, you would turn it into a major seven chord and you would get this kind of, uh, this very dissonant cluster. So that's the reason for changing the note. I'm just gonna play each pattern back to back. The pattern is identical with the exception of the fact that the, for the four chord, we are going to the fifth fret of the G. So that is the, uh, the first part of the lick, ostensibly you play two repetitions uh, over the one chord and then changing to the second part of the pattern which you'd play over your four chord for two repetitions. Then we come to just a single repetition over the next part of the one chord before the turnaround. And for this, I do a sort of embellished uh, version of that first pattern. So we walk, start out the same, seven on the A, nine on the A, seven on the D, uh, nine on the D, six on the G, nine on the G, back to six, uh, back to nine on the D, seven on the uh, D, and then back to six on the G, nine on the D, seven on the D, nine on the A, uh, using the pinky then to go nine on the D, seven on the D, nine on the A, seven on the A, and then ending on the six of the A, because at that point we're moving into what would be the turnaround, which we'll get to. But I'll just, I'm going to break down just that uh, section that would be played over the one chord for clarity. And then we would put that note in uh, once we've changed chords. Still within the major pentatonic family, we're just adding in uh, more notes of the scale, going up higher in the scale. And then, when we get to the 2-5 the turnaround, I do a very cool thing uh, in B7 or B9, dominant 7 rather. Um, basically, it's a Buddy Emmons steel guitar lick that, uh, when played, it really kind of outlines all of the extensions of the chord in a way that is a really cool kind of, when played on a guitar, it's kind of an unusual thing. You'll hear him play it a lot on pedal steel, but it's kind of a very angular sort of Western swing kind of a vibe to it. So basically, um, again, over the two dominant, we're gonna go um, six on the A, nine on the A, seven on the D, six on the G, six on the B, nine on the B, uh, seven on the B, six on the B, and then five on the B. And those last three notes are the, the transition walk down between the two and the five chords. So again, just to play it slowly. sorts of, again, very angular. It, it's a very Western swing kind of an approach, and I get a lot of that from listening to pedal steel players and whatnot. So anyway, let's, um, let's try the lick uh, in its entirety, and I'll try to play it at a little slower speed. Next part of the pattern.
and one more time for good measure. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you were able to get something from this lesson. And if you have any questions, feel free to post a comment below uh, or send me a message. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you can do to help. It really helps grow the channel and that's my big goal for this year. Uh, and please, if you, if you dig, please share with your friends. Thanks very much and all the best for 2020. I will see you all on day three. Cheers.